Welcome, this is Marcus and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to create these neat looking line patterns to highlight countries or of course any other features. I'm going to create a fresh map comp, um, call it Stripes, hit next here. I'm going to select the advanced map style and toggle through some color presets here. I like this one, so I'm gonna go for it and create my map comp. There we go. I'm gonna adjust my view a bit and hit finalize to get my map in the final quality. Now we need some features. So I double click the map here and add Germany to my browser. And I want France to and maybe Switzerland. Next, we're gonna create a controller map comp. A controller map comp is a map comp that has no imagery and no labels. It's basically invisible, and you can think of it like a null object or a null layer. But what you can do with it, you can of course draw features to it, and you can link its view and animate its view, and all that you could do with um, a normal map comp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our controller map comp, call it pattern, and link it to our other map comp. Now with this pattern map comp selected, we can simply select the style here and draw the feature to our map comp. Like this we have in the containing composition a new shape layer um, with this feature, but we need a different option here. So in the shape layer style selector, uh, you get some options down below here. And one says inside map comp. So this will draw your features inside the map comp instead of the containing comp. So let's remove this one and hit again, draw feature. Now there's no shape layer in my containing comp, but as I click into the pattern map comp, I can see the shape layer here. This comes pretty handy because now we can do the following. I'm gonna create a new shape layer, select the pen tool here, and create a straight line from top to bottom. Of course, add a stroke here. The color is not really important now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna twirl our way down to the stroke and under the transform group, I'm gonna skew it a bit. I'm gonna go for 30 here and I'm gonna add a repeater and I'm gonna throw down the position offset to 10 pixels here and I'm gonna crank up the copies to maybe 300 and the offset to minus 150 and like that we have our pattern layer and what we can do with this one is we can set its blending mode to stencil alpha and like this you can only see the layer when there's something below and that's really all you need to do in our containing comp, we have this nice stripe pattern. And if I select a different country with a different color and hit draw feature, it's also gonna be striped. But you can of course still highlight with a solid color. All you need to do is disable inside map comp. Um, I'm selecting the red here and I wanna highlight Switzerland and hit draw feature. We have our shape layer in the containing comp and therefore it is solid. Now one thing that I don't like is that my labels are below the pattern. So that doesn't make sense. So I'm going to go inside the map comp list and here I'm going to hit duplicate for my base map here with the labels. And I choose the third option, split imagery and labels and hit split. And there we go. We have a separate map comp for our labels on top of the pattern map comp and 
down there below is the stripes map com which holds our base map. I hope this comes handy for you guys building template projects. Have a great day, bye.